Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. It's getting ready to blow up a storm, so I'm going to try to get this video out. We've been getting a tremendous amount of rain this year, but it's been really bad. Uh, just a little note to begin with, stick around to the end of the video. We have a challenge contest for people that may be interested in participating is, in. is a, It'll be a fun challenge and uh, please stick around to the end we'll explain it but today's video is about boxes nuke boxes versus 10 frames versus 8 frames versus 5 frame mediums uh, versus the barnyard bee 2 frame nukes which is better to start with which is better to install packages which is best to do splits in and the rule of thumb and it's because I've done this over and over and I know what works is the smaller area that you start with those bees will build up faster now this is a very important video I've, I've never really thought about making this video but I do it all the time sometimes I, there's things I don't think of because I just do it automatically so please share this video it will be a good one for new beekeepers to know about because it'll give them an, an excellent start. This is a very important video. Please pass it along to, to anyone you know, Facebook, YouTube. So please pass it along. Uh, okay. When you install a package, when you do a split, when you do it in a smaller area, the population will explode more in those hives than they will in the bigger hives. For example, if you would take a package, starting with a package, you installed uh, in, into a to a five frame nook, which is a deep, and then you installed a package into a ten frame deep. The five frame versus the five frames, for example, they will build up those frames in that five frame nook faster than they will build up five frames in that 10 frame nuke. The more you keep bees, it's kind of a trick that a lot of people don't talk about. Bees, the way they work, they like to work, they like to be tight and packed, but not overly packed. So there's a there's a there's an area right there, the gray line that you gotta be careful, and you, it just comes from experience knowing when it's time to move those bees into something bigger. But to begin with, you're always at advantage, always, always, to start with something small. Now these right here, this is a, a, a five frame medium. And this here is a five frame medium. And they are just absolutely packed with bees. And uh, and to be honest with you, I'll just I'll tell you the flat out truth. These have already swarmed. These are some of the ones I've talked about that's already swarmed. And regenerated a queen and, and are busting at the seams again. That's how many bees are in these two here. I want to use it as an example because I know they have, they have already swarmed on me. And it just goes to show you when you're confined to a smaller area. Now... Sometimes it, it can depend on early in the year, it's easier for those bees to heat up that area. That's one reason. Another reason is bees, when, when given too big of an area, are overwhelmed with work. And it, it sounds like a fairy tale, but a lot of things with beekeeping does. A lot of things that, but what they call a demoralization of the bee, it's uh, they're kind of they're overwhelmed with work so that's how you trick them is start off with small area and build your way up stay one step ahead of them but not too far ahead of them this is very important uh, now th this works whether in propagation of honeybees or honey production it's the same thing you know we have customers and we try to explain to them uh, they may come pick up a package and, and they'll dump it into a 10 frame then they'll put a, a 10 frame a deep on top and another deep on top and, and next thing you know their their bees are gone and they're like what happened they're like well you 
you could have overwhelmed them. And that's not always the case, but it can happen. So you, you got to be careful when you're adding space. That's why it takes good management. You got to pay attention to your bees closely and watch them. And as they get full, then add more space to them. Not until then. Don't start off with a lot of space immediately because it is not good. Some people will uh, they'll start off with a with a say an eight frame or a ten frame deep install package, and next thing you know they're throwing a super on the top immediately. Well, what'll happen? Those bees will go straight up. They'll build out three or four frames. And then instead of going left or right like they should, they'll go straight up. That's how bees are designed. Bees are designed to go straight up. That's why uh, top bar hives are very tricky and hard to do. And I don't, I don't, I mean, a lot, some people use them. I don't recommend them. Bees are designed to go up, not out. So uh, I know with, with, with the top bar hives, they have to put like a spacer to fool them that this is only for far as they have to go and then then they'll add a little bit more space and a little bit more space and a little bit more space until they get it filled out slow process very slow process going up is your always your best bet and that's one reason why the smaller highs work better than the bigger highs the five frame nukes that's another reason because bees are designed to go these are five right here and to the max, really, seven to eight frames. Eight frame, I recommend eight frame over 10 frame anytime. Because a 10 frame, uh, and some people argue this and say, has it to do with the gen X of the bees? No. Now, bees want to go up, not out. So a lot of people have to fold them and bring those outside empty frames to the inside to fold them to get them to draw them out. That doesn't work. You can't do that. It's a slow process. Now, the more narrow you go, the quicker you can go up, and I promise you those bees will build up faster than you would never believe if you, if you keep them tight. Now, like I said, that's why these T-frame um, mini nukes work so good as far as doing splits, because a lot of times our splits are teeny tiny. It's just a handful of bees, not a lot in them later in the year when it's warm. Now, at the beginning of the year, you know, I've talked about this before, and when it's still cold in the spring, you got to invest a little bit more bees. Now, a handful of bees and a, and a queen, queen cell is all you need, or a virgin queen. Queen cells always work best. And drop them in there with a, with a cup of bees with a, a frame of honey, a partial drawn frame of honey, a little bit of honey. Put a feeder on them, let them go. They'll build it up fast. That's the message for today. I hope that works. See, see how these bees are... As I got the top off, they're just absolutely packed in here. And I kind of got a little mess right here. I've been stirring around a little bit. But that's about it for today. Now, I want to talk about the contest now. So let me put this on pause. I'm going to go where I need to go to show you what we got going on for the contest. Okay, I'm back. Now, this challenge is not put on by me. This is put on by one of our customers one of our youtube followers that's a very good customer of ours uh check out their youtube channel uh sweet ivers farms has a contest and the contest is growing sunflowers now i got mine started right here this is also my official i'm entering the contest video as well as and what it is uh the competition is to see who can grow the biggest, tallest, or the biggest head of flower uh, diameter-wise. Uh, I'll put a link below to Sweet Iris Farms video and YouTube channel. You can go check it out, and it'd be a fun challenge because uh, most beekeepers or gardeners as well. To me. Uh, my gardening has slowed down a lot because beekeeping has taken away about every bit of my spare time. So this little garden right here is what I put out this year. Very tiny. It's like 30 foot long by 18 foot wide. I have six tomato plants. Uh, these right here, this is also uh, for people to know that may help you. Uh, these are comfrey plants. Uh, very good. 
for bee stings, cuts, abrasions, you break those off, rub them on your skin, and it's the best skin healer you will ever find. Uh, you got to be careful, don't put them on a very deep wound or a puncture wound because it'll heal the skin so fast it could actually cover up the infection inside. So be careful, you know, with, with bad wounds with this. But anyway, back to the sunflowers. Okay, here's our sunflowers right here. And we had a golly washer, so it took out some of them. As you can see, and it barely missed that one here. The golly washer went all the way down around the garden and out the other side. I got cucumbers down on that side and squash on this side. But these right here are supposed to be a pretty good variety. Uh, I, think they're, I think they're called a American Giant or something like that. I can't remember what it was. I, I actually ordered these on eBay. So I'm going to try my best to try to get the biggest sunflower that I can get going. But check out the link below. I'm going to put the Sweet Iris, Sweet Iris Farms. Very good YouTube channel. Um, a lot of farming, a lot of farming, and beekeeping. She's got beekeeping, farming, goats, chickens. Um, very good channel. Go check it out and check out that challenge. And let's see if we can get some of you uh, to accept this challenge, make you a video. I'll put the video below and you can follow the instructions. And that's about it for today. And please like and subscribe uh, while we're on the subject of bees we still have packages these are the last packages of the year um, Wednesday which is tomorrow will be pickup day shipment day we ship anywhere in the country except Alaska and Hawaii um, this will be it folks if anyone wants any barnyard bees better come and get them now because this is it and like i said we'll ship them anywhere uh you can go straight to our website and pay we got now our website's fully automated you can go to the website and pay for your bees 100 percent and that's the easiest way to pay you that way you don't have to call and our store is so busy the phone is a lot of times calls don't get in but you go straight to the website you can pay immediately and we'll get them shipped out starting tomorrow we'll start shipping them out tomorrow but that's about it for today. Don't forget to challenge, folks. Grow your some big sunflowers. Sweet Iris Farms. And that's about it for today. Please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.